On the 6th of April, the newly constructed Pamban Bridge will be inaugurated by Prime Minister Narendra Modi, replacing the over century old structure that once connected Rameshwaram to the mainland. The idea of linking India to Sri Lanka, then Ceylon, through the Adams Bridge route was first explored in 1876, but the plan was shelved due to high costs. Eventually, in 1906, a more feasible plan was approved. A railway line from Madurai to Dhanushkodi via Rameshwaram and then a streamer service from Dhanushkodi to Sri Lanka. Pamban Bridge is India's first sea bridge and it is an engineering marvel. Standing 12.5 meters above the sea level, it stretched across 145 paths and featured a double leaf bascule span. A shoozer rolling lift bridge opened for ships to pass through. This innovative design was patented by American engineer William Scherzer and it was built by Head Wrightston and Co of the UK. The project cost at 70 lakh rupees and it took over 2 years from June 1911 to December 1913 to be completed. It was officially inaugurated on February 24, 1914 by Nevil Priestley of the South Indian Railway Company. Passengers could travel all the way to Dhanushkodi by train and then take a streamer to Talai Manar in Sri Lanka. In 1964, disaster struck. A devastating cyclone hit Dhanushkodi, a bustling town which boasted of having the Bay of Bengal and the Indian Ocean as its boundaries. The cyclone swept away the entire town and a train reportedly with 115 passengers on board. Huts were blown away and only the tales of sorrow, misery and the bravery of survivors remain. In the following days, the task of reconstructing the bridge was given to a young engineer named E Sridharan, now popularly known as the Metro Man. He completed the repair works in just 6 months. Until 1988, the bridge was Rameshwaram's only surface link. Then came a road bridge which was inaugurated by the then Prime Minister Rajiv Gandhi. Originally built for meter gauge trains, the bridge was upgraded to broad gauge in 2007. After over a century of service, the bridge was decommissioned in 2022 due to structural instability and corrosion. The construction of the new Pamban Bridge began in 2019, led by the Rail Vikas Nigam Limited. COVID-19 disruptions, rough seas, and design modification delayed progress, but work was finally completed in November 2024. The new bridge is designed for high-speed trains with a fully automated vertical lift span, which ensures smooth navigations for ships. On the old bridge. Trains were operated at a speed of only up to 10 kilometers an hour. But now, on the new bridge, trains can be operated at a speed of 98 kilometers an hour. Unlike the old manually operated system, the vertical lift span is designed for minimal obstruction. Engineers have used polyseal lock style paint to protect the steel structure for up to 35 years without repainting. Pradeep Gaur of RBNL said the lift span design ensures simply support system with no interference in marine routes. Southern Railway officials say that the old bridge will be dismantled soon, though parts of it will be preserved for posterity. Built at a cost of 535 crore rupees, the new Pamban Bridge marks a new chapter in Indian railway infrastructure. <laughs>